Recently, Fredericton locals were given the chance to see a preview of more to come as our own Fredericton Lacrosse Club clashed with Mount Allison's lacrosse team in an exhibition match meant to draw attention to the sport. Since September, local lacrosse enthusiasts joined with lacrosse players from afar to form the Fredericton Lacrosse Club. Coach Wrightsfield, along with his friends Mackenzie McCoy and Matthew Jay, played a key role in starting the club. I came out here and there was really nothing going on and it kind of really sucked and I really wanted to get it back together. And I mean, we, we've done a lot of work to it. And Coach Wrightsfield and his teammates are hoping to revitalize Fredericton's lacrosse scene, which they say has been dead since the University of New Brunswick Generals disbanded in 2005 kind of gave up so we're here trying to bring it back um, bringing our knowledge from uh, as far west as BC we have Evan from there and uh, a couple guys who played at the provincial and national level as well. The Fredericton Lacrosse Club began with only a handful of players and has since expanded to new heights and now boasts over 40 members. We got a lot of guys uh, to come just from St. John as well. Um, just we started messaging people on Facebook. We even used that uh, spotted at UNB uh, to give us a shout out, um, and then just from people we know in the area and people saw it on Facebook or see the event shared and was like, "Oh, I used to play. Like, how can I get involved?" So that's how we got that. <laughs> Originally, lacrosse was invented by Native Americans and began as a sport played in preparation for war. And instead of the balls we know today, lacrosse was originally played with skulls. Later, lacrosse split into two different types. Outdoor lacrosse, which is played in a field, and box lacrosse, which is played in a rink. Currently, its appeal has spread internationally and today countries all over the world compete with their own national team. If all goes according to plan and the Fredericton Lacrosse Club can draw enough interest, then they will be able to join the Outdoor Maritime League next year and revive the UNB Generals once more to compete in the spring season. Until then, the Fredericton Lacrosse Club will have to settle with indoor lacrosse, which is why they are in the midst of training to enter an American tournament this winter. This is Corey Robichaud reporting for St. Thomas Journalism.